YouTube viewers, I am the Nintendo Chick and this is my very first ever YouTube video, so please go easy on me. I'm going to be showing you how to set up the R4DS. I've actually got the R4 version 2 because version 1 has a spring in the R4 which is easily broken and the R4 version 2 doesn't. So I'm now going to show you what actually comes inside the R4 box. Okay. Inside the R4 box, you get the R4 setup CD, you get the R4 itself, you get a cute little R4 case, which the R4 fits perfectly inside. You get the micro SD, oopsie, it's all around. You get the micro SD USB card reader. And you get a little wrist strap, which you can either decide or decide not to put on the R4 case. Okay. And by the way, you actually have to buy the micro SD card separately because it does not come with the R4 kit. So I'm now going to show you how to set up the R4DS. Okay, what you do is you place the R4 into the CD slot on your computer. So if you can't see this properly, it's a little bit dark. And then you insert it. You wait for it to pop up on your screen. Okay, there it is. And if you zoom in closer, you can see it properly. And all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom and click on Open Folder to View File. Double click it. Wait for the folder to come up. Inside, there are seven folders and two documents, but the only thing you actually need is system version 1.18, click on that, and it has three language choices, Korean, French, and English. I'm obviously English, so I'm going to pick English. Inside, there are four files, and these files you're going to need to copy to the micro SD card. So now I'm going to show you what to do with the micro SD card and the micro SD card reader. Okay, the micro SD card is actually right in the end there if you can see it, but it's not actually inserted properly. So all you have to do is give it a slight push and it goes in. The micro SD card reader actually does come with the case cover. Well, I don't know what to call it, but it covers up the USB. I'm not going to put that on right now. So now what you have to do is you have to insert the USB into the USB slot on the computer. Once again, I'm sorry if you cannot see it properly, but you should be able to see the red light flash. That means it's been inserted, and it should now pop up on the computer. Okay, it pops up as an empty file. Mine is removable disk I. Yours may be something else. There should actually be nothing in this folder. Nothing at all. If there's actually anything at all in this folder, you should delete it, otherwise it will not work. So now what you do is you highlight the four folders, the four files that are in the CD file, and you drag them into the empty micro SD card file, and you just watch it transfer two have been transferred, wait for the other two to transfer. This is actually very quick, it doesn't take that much time, as you can see. Okay, now all four files are in the removable disk, which is the micro SD card. So now, what you have to do, is you have to right click, and go down to new and click on folder. Now you have to name this. As you can see the folder is currently called new folder but you have to rename that games. Yes games hold on a second games not game games and now you have your empty folder called games. Check inside. There's actually nothing in there. Okay. 
Now what you do is you can either go into Google and type in NDS ones or you can go to my favourite site which is www.romulation.net that is www.romulation.net ok so as I've already said there's currently nothing in this folder in the games folder sorry let me just ok so now what you want to do is once you've downloaded a couple of games I've already downloaded loads of games which might seem kind of sad but I have because I actually wanted to download all my games before I got my actual R4 ok so I'm just going to show you one game for example, Animal Crossing World Royal World. I'm just gonna hold on a second. I'm just gonna highlight that and I'm gonna drag it into my empty game folder. And it actually takes very quick to come in. So now you can see I've got Animal Crossing World World NDS game in my game folder. Okay. So now all you're going to do is you're going to take out your micro SD USB card reader and you're going to take out the USB card which is inside it. So as you can see in the back of the R4 if you can see this there's actually a slot right at the back where the um, SD micro SD card goes into, so I'm just going to quickly slot that in. Um, just so you're sure, just so you know, the writing should actually be facing towards you. So you just slot it in like that. And this version two actually has no springs; so it just slots in and comes out really easily. So now it's in, and now I'm going to show you how to load it onto my Nintendo DS. Okay, so now I have my Nintendo DS. Yes. As you can see, it's red. I actually had the black one until I decided that I wanted to change and I thought red was good for me. So anyway, turn it around. And the R4 should have the micro SD card in the back. And then you just slot it in. You should hear it click. Hold on. Yeah, you should have heard that click. And then you just flip it up, you turn it on, and it loads normally, basically, like so, and then it starts loading.